In this video I'll do a portfolio review for one of my students in the Katia V5 courses. So his name is Samuel and uh, he didn't want uh, this uh, personal data here to be covered. So Samuel wants to apply for an internship for an automotive company. So uh, he's still a student and uh, this is the first page of the PDF file. Automotive Design Engineering Portfolio. have some lines here with uh, color, so it's pretty minimalistic. So that's good, we have here some data. Obviously, if you have a job for him or an internship anywhere, you can contact him here. So this page is okay. The next page, about, so you can write about me. It will be better. My passion for, autom for automobile developed when I was lit a little over eight years from watching, working with my dad when he services his 99 Mercedes. Fell in love with the car design and its mechanical components. Okay, so I like uh, that the story is pretty specific because I think anyone can relate with something like this. So this is a good start. This is not too long, not too short. I like that uh, he says here I have self-made experience. This is a concept that I like. And they're also saying that uh, designs automotive models from videos I see on YouTube and components from my car. So this is uh, showing that you're pragmatic, that you're uh, using current technology in a smart way. Okay, so this is good. This uh, sounds pretty good. It's pretty futuristic. Uh, I can see that this was made by you. So it's not just a copy pasted text from the internet. And then we have here project one, single speed transmission. So this is good. This is a project. It says what this project is. I like the colors, everything is simple. It doesn't distract from the projects. So uh, this looks interesting. The above images are SolidWorks Fire and Render version of the single speed transmission model. So I like that it says what's up with the images. So what's this? Is this 3D printed? Because it looks like that, but no, it's SolidWorks final render. So this is something completely different. Okay, so let's go to the next page. Single speed transmission. The description of the inspiration for the design of the single speed transmission came from taking class that, that deals with vehicle chassis design. Vehicle chassis design and performance as well as watching the disassembly and reassembly of the powertrain of the Tesla Model 3 on YouTube. So honestly, here I would not write on YouTube. I'll just finish here the sentence. I would like to keep this a mystery, but this is uh, just me. Maybe you want to show that uh, you're so good that you designed something that you seen on YouTube, or just keep that a mystery. So this is just a suggestion. So it's good in both ways. All parts were designed, assembled, and simulated using SolidWorks CAD software. First, I designed the transmission case using a formulated dimension and then designed all other components to fit perfectly in the case. So here it shows transparent case and inside we can see the gears. Then uh, we have the gears here, gear 1 input output okay counter shaft input shaft so those are things for mechanical engineers that know what uh, this is so i guess this uh, it's okay so on the next page exploded view drawing made in solidworks so just something here that uh, all parts were designed assembled and simulated in solidworks so you want to mention that you designed the parts so I designed all the parts and assemble, assembled and simulated them in SOLIDWORKS CAD software. So you don't want uh, anyone to think that uh, this was designed by somebody else or you found them on YouTube or something like that and you just made the renderings, you made them look uh, nice. First I designed the transmission case using a formulated dimension, okay. Here we have exploded view drawing made in SOLIDWORKS. So this looks good, what I would do here is put each drawing on one page and make this move this text up or make this smaller because um, it's kind of small and you can barely see uh, some stuff around here so if you make this bigger it will look uh, better and I will also 
and you can also see this table here better and also I would write all the details here so including your name so it will be good to see uh, your name around here and also all the other details like a revision number or if this was by whom was this verified or something like that so you want to make this exactly as I as you do it uh, inside the company okay so this is pretty detailed I like that this is detailed and uh, with the type of materials that they are used okay so this is a pretty good uh, portfolio generally speaking it's pretty detailed so you can already see that who did this uh, knows some stuff single speed transmission specifications differential side and spider gear ratio 1 1 so this is very detailed for someone that knows this stuff and uh, if motor spins output speed at wheels so those are uh, pretty good calculations here all gear material heat treated alloy steel so those details are pretty good so it seems like uh, you know what you're writing here and uh, I think you should so this is showing how you designed the gear in SOLIDWORKS and uh, this is what I wanted to say I wanted to see some screenshots from the software itself but I don't understand why are they so small and there is so much empty space on the page so I think you should make those big so they can be seen like you want whoever sees this to see the specification tree here better also those windows around here at least to see them a little better and also this is the case so I don't know what this screenshot is doing here because you're only discussing about the gear and you want to this to be straightforward you don't want people to see to switch to this page and try to understand what is going on here because this is so you need to read but you kind of also want to understand from uh, just watching this page what's going on you see some see some pictures so you want to see step one step two step three so maybe this should be modified and just take, you can just take this out if it's not needed here and write all the text and the uh, title in uh, this place project 2 tractor axle okay so the above image is a render version of the tractor axle design and modeled in Katia v5 CAD software so that I designed so this is what I want to say also in the project 1 of the tractor axle project that I designed and modeled in Katia v5 software so you want to mention that all the time so in here the expression the inspiration for designing tractor I came from working on a 95 John build tractor of a friend of mine work I worked together with him to service engine and paint it however to design the axle I took a couple of pictures and watch a YouTube video of the same tractor being torn apart and reassembled the axle was not completely torn apart for me to see the internal parts so the design might be missing some internal parts so this is very good that uh, you're explaining this I tried applying my mechanical knowledge to create some parts I believe should be there for the system to function correctly so this is good this is bold uh, this is uh, some courage here to do that my model design is slightly different from that of the tractor but the same concept okay so you might want to move the title upwards a little more and put this text in three paragraphs because it's easier to read so you might want to hit enter a few times and just have a smaller paragraph with a small blank space between them the same that you did with those pictures so you have some space between them they are not just stick to each other and also if you do this in a powerpoint I want to click on the picture and give it that effect that it has a shadow behind because they look better for the eyes in general so in here we see some pictures so they look good axle assembly components location okay tractor axle major parts differential case side cover wheel mount wheel hub drive shaft connector open differential okay parts were rendered using Katia 5 rendering tool so let's see tractor axle so yeah you might want to do an exploded view like this one maybe showing all the parts maybe in 3d product model approaches portraying Katia assembly parts sketch and drawing workbench so I would not show this because this is you're just showing a simple sketch here so it's 
or not showing something. If you design this, I know you know how to use the Sketcher Workbench, I don't need to see this. And uh, this is, maybe you want to show just the drawing in another page, but maybe show like a big explode using the explode command in the assembly workbench with all the components and you can color them individually so it doesn't have to be a render because you see when you have rendering they all have the same color so just use different colors you can also put a picture like that where you use a normal view not material view with their original colors from CAD so if I would be watching this portfolio I would be thinking that uh, this looks cool and uh, I want to see more about those details here, those parts around here. But then I go here, I see, okay, some parts here. I have a drawing here, okay. But this is drive shaft connector. So I don't know exactly where this part is. And then I arrive at this page and I still don't see those nice details that I would like to see. So it would be good to have like a big exploded view of this that will cover all the screen and just write something around here. Project three, break disk. Okay, so this is a simple part. This shouldn't take a lot of uh, space. This pit holes, the inspiration for design came from working on my car brake. So those are details about uh, those kind of brake discs. So this is okay. And here it shows some details about how was this designed. Okay, project four, chassis frame. So this is a frame. Okay. And uh, this project was aimed to design a replica of the Tesla Model S chassis. The inspiration for this project came from me watching the video where the Tesla was revealed in detail. Learn more, more about sheet metal design and factors that go into designing a chassis for a specific application and the used material. So if you do something like this, the chassis in my model is not exactly like Tesla's. I made some little changes in its design. Okay, let's see. Conventional frame, material, and uh, this uh, is finishing quickly, so I would like to see more details about this. How are those panels unified between them? Is it welding, spot welding? So I would like to see some details in here, like a zoom in on uh, those parts. So it has a few parts, so I would like to see like an exploded view on this, but with uh, that will cover all the screen. McPherson suspension, so this is probably some kind of uh, suspension for vehicles, so this is good. Creo 8.0 final render, okay. The goal of this project is to design a full McPherson suspension system. The ultra process for this project came from taking a parameter modeling class in my sophomore year, okay. So those are good um, explanation here. Above image is the normal view of the McPherson suspension assembly model on Creo 8.0. And you still have a lot of space here, so maybe the images can be bigger and give that uh, background shading. Details, strut material, chrome, silicon, rotor material, cast iron, knuckle, okay. So this is good. Again, I would like to see an exploded, so maybe you can have just those two pictures here and add this one on its own page with a uh, zoom in because you can barely see what's going on here it's uh, bolts and lower control arm so you see those are it's good that i can see them but i don't know what those are so i guess those are graphic things in uh, your design but uh, you don't necessarily need to have those and you can also have the text on the empty spaces on the pictures so that wouldn't be a problem. And uh, this is the end of the portfolio. So it's not very long. I guess you can do some more details about all of those projects. And uh, to start from the beginning, maybe you can uh, add some details on how this uh, case was designed because this is an interesting part design. There are jobs in automotive that are only designing castings like those ones so maybe you can insert some drafting angle analysis if you know how to do that with Katia V5 that analyzes the drafting angle for the for the casting and tools and maybe you can show that you design this in details with all those ribs and uh, 
I don't know, some structural anal analysis or something like that, because I guess this is what uh, it has to be done on a part like this. Then maybe you can also show some more details on how you design those uh, diagonal gears. So maybe on this page uh, you can show that. And then we said that more details here, some extra stuff around here that can be taken out. So usually I do like a version 3 for a CV or a portfolio. And I put a few days between uh, those versions because um, if you make something, a portfolio like a, or a CV, you just save it, you close the file and you read it again two days later and uh, you're going to see it with different eyes and then I modify it again and I read it again two days later and usually version 3 is the best version of uh, something so maybe you can try this with uh, the portfolio and of course we can watch it again but uh, this is this is pretty good so it's a uh, serious interesting stuff here so those are uh, serious mechanical skills around here and knowledge so i'm pretty sure that this is going to work and uh, you're going to be selected for an internship at a company so probably you should apply at uh, tesla i'm sure they like this kind of stuff so congratulations samuel this looks very good and we are going to continue the discussion on the email where you can uh, send this again so we can uh, take uh, another look. And if you want me to review your portfolio and your CV, you can contact me at alexzaiman at gmail.com or connect on LinkedIn at uh, this address here. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you again in another video.